our, the amount of money we have in our account, it's growing, but here it grew $8, then it grew $8.64, then it grew $9.33, and that's going to grow, every, every year we have more money in there, so we earn more interest, don't we? Okay. Now, did you notice it's a real pain to times this by 8% and then add that to what we had? And then times that by 8% and then add that. So I'm going to show you how we do this. What we do is we take whatever whatever we have, um, if we're going to increase by 8%, what we do is we add 100% to that. So if I take 100 and I multiply that by 108%, okay, what's 1 times 100? 100. And what's 0 0.08 times 100? 8. This gives me 108. So I, if we add 100 to the percentage that we're trying to increase by, what it'll do is it'll give us that original amount plus the increase. So here's what we can do. Okay, so here's times zero. That's how much money we have. We times that by 1.08. Okay, that's how much we have after one year. Now how do I get after two years? What do I have to times it by? There's two years. How do I get three years? What do I have to times it by? 1.08. Okay, so every year I just times by 1.08, it gives me the, that's how much I have the next year. Okay, and you notice it, it only went up eight bucks the first year, but then every year does it go up more than eight bucks and then more than that? And then, so it's increasing at an increasing rate. So this is a exponential growth type of thing. Okay, so um, let's go back to our little thing I gave you here. So here's the, exponent, here's the equation. One plus whatever the rate of change is. So here, here's what we're going to do. Um, we get some initial amount. How much money you want to put in the bank? How much? 200, 200 bucks. And what... One plus what? What interest rate do you want to earn this time? Ten percent. Ten percent. How do you write that as a decimal? Point, zero, point, one. point one. Okay. And and then I'm going to say this is. I could say to the x. Maybe I should say our principal or the amount we have in our account equals one plus point one to the time power. So here's what it looks like. Or here we have time and principal. At time zero, we got 200 bucks. And I know after one year, can you guys figure that out? What's 10% of 200? 20. Plus two, 20 plus 200 would be 220. So it goes up 20 bucks the first year. But the next year, it's not going to go up 20. It's going to go up $20.20. So it's going to go up to 240.20. And then third year and so on and with this equation we can figure out even even at 10 years see we can do oh wait I, got, I better change this a little bit I'm not going to leave it 1 plus 0.1 Reagan what's 1 plus 0.1 uh, one one. okay let's just let's just get that over with can we just do that okay so all I got to do is put the year in here so if I want 10 years Maybe I should do three years first because I didn't do that one. So 200 times 1.1 raised to the 3. So after three years, 266.20. So that, that year it went up $26.20. It went up more. Is this making sense, Gracie? Okay. Now after 10 years, times 1.1 raised to the tenth power. Notice here, let's talk about how I'm typing this in the calculator. In the parenthesis, I have 1.1 raised to the tenth power and parenthesis. So I'm doing that, and then I'm multiplying by 200. You want to make sure that you're not going 200 times 1.1 and then raising the answer to the tenth power. We've got to, we've got to do it this way. So after 10 years, wow, 500 
eighteen dollars seventy five cents. That's pretty good. You went from two hundred bucks to five hundred eighteen dollars in ten years. What if you put two thousand in there? Five thousand one hundred eighty seven dollars fifty. What if you put twenty thousand in there? You'd be up to fifty thousand something, wouldn't you? Okay. The more you put in, the more you can have at the end, aren't you? Okay. So this is exponential growth, and the reason we call it like that is, of course, we have exponential here, and then it also it's it, the sequence. We're starting at two hundred. And then we're growing a little bit, and then a little bit more, and then a little bit more, and then a little bit more, and a little more, and a little more, and a little more, like that. Okay? Now, um, this has some limits because how long do people live? Can we just wait for 100 years? No. We can't, can we? Okay, we, you know, got to get it over with. Oh, yeah. There you go. There you go. Okay. So here's, here's the basic equation. Y equals A times 1 plus R um, to the T power. Time usually is what we're talking about. We could say X there or whatever. Okay. So initial amount, uh, 50. Where does the 50 go? Hey. Um, rate of change. 3%. What goes right here? 0 0.03. 0 0.03. Very good. Very good. Make, make sure, remember, 0.3, that's 30%. See, because that's 0 0.30. That's 30 hundredths. 0.03 is 3%. See how that's 3 hundredths? Okay. And then to the T. Now, you're not going to leave it like that, are you? Peyton, you're not going to leave it like that, are you? Uh, uh, maybe. I think what we want to do is probably make our life simpler eventually and, and, and get like that. Okay? So there you go. Okay, let's look at this equation. Okay. What's the initial amount here? 765. And what is the rate of growth? 17%, yes. So our initial amount is 765 and our growth rate here is 17%. Whatever, wherever we are above 100, okay? Uh, what would happen if our, this number inside here, let's just talk about this for a minute. We talked about it the other day, but let's, let's just make sure. Um, y equals five times something to the x power. If this number is greater than 1, what's happening? Exponential growth, exponential decay. Okay. Growth. If it's greater than 1. In fact, here, isn't it 50% growth? Yeah. Okay. If that number is less than 1, but still greater than 0, okay, whenever that's less than 1, then we're going to have exponential decay. And we're going to talk about that in a minute here. But um, what would happen if that number were a 1? Nothing would change. Nothing would change. What is 1 to any power? 1. 1 times 5? It's 5. It's not going to change. It's just going to stay... One, two, three, four, five. It's just going to go like that. It's not. Nothing's going to happen. Doesn't matter what number we put in for x. Nothing's going to happen. Okay. And also remember, did do we want this number to be less than zero? Do we want a negative number here? Remember, we talked about what happened when we had a negative in. It goes positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, like that. Or, I guess it can go the other way. So you, you, you kind of end up with this weird kind of thing like that. So this number, this number inside there, okay, we always want it to be greater than 1, growth, or between 0 and 1, which would be decay. So 
let's talk about decay here for a minute. What if what if I have a car? Bought it for twenty thousand bucks. Here's the value of my car. And every year, does the value of my car go up or down? It goes down. So it goes down. Uh, let's say it goes down 15%. Okay. Now I want to just show you some stuff here. Let's take 20,000 times it by 15%. How much does the value of my car go down the first year? 3,000 bucks. So how much is it worth now? 17,000. And then The next year, it only goes down 2550 because it's worth less. So if it only goes down 15%, then I, I don't lose as much, do I? So, so the value goes down, but not as much. So it's decreasing at a decreasing rate, okay? And then I got to subtract that. Is, there's got to be an easier way than this. We don't have to sit there and times by 15% and then subtract that from each, each time. Just think of it this way. Here. If, if it goes down 15%, what's left? What do you still have if it goes down 15%? No? What if it goes down 10%? What do you still have? 90%. What if it goes down 15% then? Got 85%. Okay, we have 85% left. Or I should I should put it 85% maybe, okay? If you go into a shoe store, and it says 20% off, okay? Well, that's great, but what is it? what should it really say? What should that sign really say? It shouldn't say 20% off because what do you still have to pay? You still have to pay 80%. You still have to pay, so this is you pay, 80%. That's what's important, isn't it? Okay, so if the value, where did it go? Here it is. If the value of my car is going down 15% every year, what percent do I have left? 85%. Okay. So, let's see. So, increase, an exponential increase looks like this. Y equals whatever the initial amount is times 1 plus R to the T. A decrease looks like this. 1 subtract the rate of change to the T. So they look really similar. Increase, 1 plus the rate of change. Decrease, 1 subtract the rate of change. Get this in your notes. Okay? Exponential increase, exponential decrease. I think it's pretty easy to remember, isn't it, George? Like you're increasing one plus it, decreasing one, subtract it. Pretty straightforward. Okay, 
So now, now, Allison, what's the initial amount here? Helper? Jack, what's the initial amount? 200. Lexi, what's the initial amount? 200. What's the initial amount? What's the initial amount? Okay. Gracie, what's the initial amount? Okay. And is this an uh, increasing or decreasing function? Everybody, what is it? Increasing. increasing. And what rate is it increasing at? 25%. There you go. So it's increase. Increasing 25%. That's pretty easy to see right there, isn't it? Okay. Here's a new one. Okay. What's the initial amount, George? 19. 19. Okay. And what is this one in? What's the increasing rate here? 25%. How much? He says 35%. Do you guys agree? Now this one, this one, see they've already added the one and the 35% together, haven't they? But it's still, you can see it's going up 35%, whatever it is above one. And sometimes it gets, it gets a little rough. Uh, This one's increasing, obviously. Initial amount? 24, right? How much is this one above 1? 140%. Oh, there you go. So this one is 1.1 added to that. So that this one's actually going up 140%. Right? Okay. Now, take a look at this. Increasing or decreasing? Decreasing by 10%. Decreasing by 10%. See it? Pretty easy, isn't it? It's it's 0.1 less than 1. So it's going down 10%. So it is hard, though. You want to say 90%. And it is 90% of what you had before, isn't it? You still have 90%. If I have whatever amount of money and I give 10% away, do I still have 90%? Yes. Yeah. But I still... I'm still decreasing 10%, aren't I? Okay, so that's what that one is. So this one's a de decrease of 10%. So it's pretty straightforward, I hope. I hope. How about this? Decreasing or increasing? Uh, decreasing. De it's going down, isn't it? Now don't think of it percent right now. Just what fraction is it going down? It's going down one fifth. Didn't it go? Oops! It didn't it go down one fifth, right? Because we we must have had five fifths before, right? You guys got to help me out here. Come on. Okay. So it's one fifth. Then you can worry about. Okay. Well, one divided by five. You know, if you want to use your calculator, one divided by five is point two. Okay. So. Percent-wise, what are we talking about? 20%, right? So this is a 20 per This one's going down 20%. But it, it'd probably be okay to say it's going down one-fifth. That's the same thing. If I say one-fifth or 20%, I'm, I'm saying the same thing. It still works. Okay? So let's, let's take a look at um, page 286. Can you guys get there? There's a catfish on that page. Okay. Uh, Mr. Kelly, start reading 18 for me.
18. Okay, eight weeks, it goes up 23% per week. Okay, do you guys see how this is an exponential growth kind of thing? Yeah. Okay, so it's got to fit this function right here, or the one I just we just talked about, we changed it a little bit and we said one plus the growth rate to the time. So we know the initial weight, like it first hatches out of the egg, basically, what does it weigh? It weighs 0 0.1 pounds. Yeah, 0 0.1 pounds. Tiny little bit, right? But then, what's our growth rate? 23%. So what goes right here for, for R? 0.23 to the T. T represents time in weeks, right? Okay. And, and I wouldn't leave it this way, and, and I hope you don't. 1.23 and if you want to just get right there that's totally fine okay so we can make a table here's the time in weeks here's the weight of the catfish at time zero what does it weigh 0.1 pounds okay I guess that wouldn't be when it first hatches out of the egg would it no um, it's not gonna weigh 0.1 pounds when it that that'd be a big old honking egg for a fish okay so it's it's still it's a little bit older but over the next eight weeks it keeps it grows so like we could say figure it out four weeks later do it on your calculators come on You gotta, get, you gotta get it to say that. And and when my when I type it in the way I have it, one point it's it's point one times one point two three to the fourth power. Calculator is gonna raise one point two three to the fourth power first. Exponents first, then multiply, right? So after four weeks it weighs a whopping point. You guys want to round that off for me? Okay, 0.23. I, I'll agree. Point, that's almost a fourth of a pound. 0.25, that'd be a fourth of a pound, wouldn't it? So it went from a tenth of a pound almost to a fourth of a pound in just those four weeks. Okay, do eight weeks. Do you guys get a half pound? Yeah. So it starts out 0.1, a tenth of a pound. After four weeks, it's grown a fourth of a pound. You know, it's, it's up to a fourth. So it's grown quite a bit, hasn't it? But over the next four weeks, does it grow the same amount it did the first four weeks? No. No. No, it, every week it's growing at an increasing rate. So it's growing more and then more and then more. Now, can this continue? What, what if this happened for a year, 52 weeks? What, what would happen if this catfish grew at this rate for one year? Hold on a minute. Raise to the 52nd power. 52 weeks in a year. You ever see a 4,700 pound catfish? I wish that would. I bet now, that would taste I mean, I've seen now a some fish <laughs> could get that big eventually, but does it take them more than a year? Yeah. yeah, and they don't go from a tenth of a pound to 4,700 pounds in one year. You know, they might go from two, you know, like a pound to. 
10 or 12 in a year and then the next year or maybe even up to 50 pounds the next year they might make it up to a hundred and something and then you know but if, I mean great white sharks I think can get this heavy I'm not sure they may maybe only I don't know whatever they weigh but they're not going to go from 0.1 pounds to this in a year and then what would happen if this kept going very much longer like, you, you wouldn't think it but what if it went for two years would it would it be about 10,000 pounds it would be way, way, way more than it wouldn't. It's not going to just double, is it? No. Okay. This is exponential growth. So uh, that's a big catfish. What are we talking here? Two hundred twenty-three million nine hundred thirty-nine thousand nine hundred fifty-six pounds. That's a crazy catfish. That's a crazy catfish. Yeah, that's that's the catfish from the movie that's eating the entire ocean, right? Or, I guess it had to move to the ocean. I don't even think that could live in a lake, could it? No, that thing in the river? It would clog up the river, wouldn't it? Okay. So I, w I want you to get the idea here that exponential growth, not sustainable. Right? Not sustainable. And then with exponential decay, so my car, remember our car? 20,000 times was it going down 15% yep. when will my car be worth zero dollars it won't be ever. it won't be ever will it get dang close to zero yes will it ever get to zero no no because no. because no. remember remember Madden kept walking to the wall and then he stopped halfway and, and then he walked to the wall halfway and did he ever get to the wall no, no. so so the value of our card starts up here and it starts decaying. It decays fast at first, goes down a lot each time, still 15%. But then once we get down to very little left, it just kind of flattens out. And this is our limit right here. So I hope this is making sense. Okay. So I want you to work on these problems. This is uh, chapter 6.2. Uh, let's do numbers... Uh, 1 to 3 and then 4 to 50 the even. Let's get started on that today.